Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be showing you a bit about Chronicles of Crime The Millennium Series which is on Kickstarter right now. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out if it piques your interest. And as always for Kickstarter videos, I always mention up front that I was paid to make this overview. This is a series of three new games that follow the you know, same structure as Chronicles of Crime. If you've played the original game, it's an investigation game where you play, in the base game anyway, uh, a modern policeman in London and you are investigating unsavoury crimes. And there are expansions to that original game, but this is not an expansion. This is a separate uh, series of three games that take place in different time frames as well. The one that I've got a prototype of here is the 1400s in Paris. The second is set in the 1900s where you play a journalist and in the third game you are back to the future in the 2400s where we'll be encountering you know robotics and AI and augmenting body parts and all kind of things like that. So the three games are all separate you know full experiences they're not expansions to anything you don't need to have uh, all three you can just have one if only one uh, interests you but if you do get all three of them then they have a narrative that follows along through them they're you know complete stories in themselves but combined kind of like uh, time stories if you've played that they they had all you know self-contained stories but if you did play them all there was an undercurrent <laughs> going through them all uh, so the one in Chronicles of Crime the Millennium series concerns the history of the Lavelle family. So, you know, throughout all of these different periods of history, like Cardboard Blackadder. So what I have in my prototype is the first case of Chronicles of Crime 1400. So while it's a prototype and things might change, I don't want to spoil the actual story or anything for you. Uh, if you would like to see, you know, in action what the Chronicles of Crime system is, then I originally did a playthrough for the very first Kickstarter using the tutorial from that game. So while that will spoil a, a tutorial story, uh, it will show you the main mechanics and stuff, but without actually saying anything, I'll show you how it works. So not showing you the story or anything, you have an app on your phone that is required to play the game, but it's on you know, iOS and Android and I don't know, are other devices available than that? Probably, is Windows Phone still going? Anyway, you start out at home, which has some advisors in it. Well, members of your family. You have a monk, a merchant, and a spy that are experts on different things. And throughout the game, we will meet people. We will find evidence that are different things. And you can scan QR codes. This game is all about scanning QR codes, basically. That will, you know, if you scan the QR code of a location, if I want to go to Saint Denis there, then I can scan the location touch and hold to scan oh the game did actually tell me that i'm not allowed to go there yet because i've just started a new game in this but it would take me to saint denis and i can you know if i've met uh, this uh, bill whittlingham here then i can scan him and have a conversation with him i can ask him about uh, mary whitehouse there and he will tell me what he knows or he might say i don't know anything about her uh, i can also you know if i think that he's a bit of a fishy character the whittlinghams have been involved in some dodgy stuff then i can you know scan my spy and then scan him and the spy will tell me what he knows if anything about that person and all of it you know adds up to give you you know, the story, it lets the case unfold as you uncover this. And of course, there's, you know, there's clues everywhere. There's bits of evidence. There's red herrings and things. We will go to crime scenes where there is an option in the app to search the crime scene. And you'll be then given, you know, a kind of panorama that you, you know, move your phone around. You can get uh, some 3D glasses that were, they're not required because I know, you know if you've got glasses like we have, uh, sometimes it's not the easiest or most comfortable thing, though it does work with glasses. Uh, you can use it without them and just not have the 3D effect. But yeah, you have a panorama of the crime scene and you will look around for things. So you might see some pots and pans, some art supplies, and uh, you will go through this deck of evidence cards. So one person will be looking at the crime scene, shouting out, you know, uh, family photos, pine cones, a lovely ripe apple, a cuddly toy. Obviously, I'm just making all of this stuff. Up. None, none of this is from this case. I don't want to spoil any of it for you. Uh, so the other people around will be searching through all of these cards. You can lay them all out and, okay, well, we found, uh, didn't you say, oh, there was, there was loads of books strewn all over the floor and we get all of these cards together. And then once we have done all of our, you know, once our time is up searching the room, we can then go to the app and start scanning the QR codes on the things we think we found. And the app might say, 
that's got nothing to do with the investigation. <laughs> that's just, uh, you, you can't just say curtain. Of course there's a curtain in there. Uh, but so uh, it might say, you know, that, oh yes, this was, this is uh, Whittlingham's uh, ledger with all of his dodgy dealings in it. This is evidence. And you move it up to the evidence section. There's a new part in uh, 1400 where we have this blue section for things that you've just heard about. So if you hear about uh, Mary Whitehouse's uh, precious uh, kitchen cabinet that uh, we we haven't been there yet, we haven't seen it or it's been stolen. Uh, so we go into things that we've heard about and not necessarily seen. We have our trusty dog companion that uh, we can utilize throughout this and try and get some of his input and help. There are special items as well specific to the scenario that we might find. But another thing for the 1400s is vision cards. Now, in the first case, there are four of these that you turn over at the start and they kind of give you, I'll just show you one, so look away if you really don't want to see any of them. Uh, they give you a kind of, you, you don't know what this refers to in any way, same as, you know, the people or the places and things at the very start of it. You don't know what this could mean. Uh, it's, uh, you know, they're kind of evocative images that might uh, lead you in certain directions, might be red herrings as well, like uh, some of the clues and conversations and things. But, you know, as you go through the case, as you explore, as you find out more, these things start to make sense and can become uh, clues or, you know, lead you to other areas. It's a really nice extra thing in there as well. You know, if you enjoyed Chronicles of Crime, the original, you know, the system is largely the same with some of those additions in here. And, you know, it's it's not quite you can't just call up and ask your experts wherever they are. You have to spend time and come back home to speak to your family. Obviously, it's the 1400s, although you do have the dog with you wherever you go. Obviously, we've only played the first case of one of the three games, so I can only really speak about that. But you know, just like the first case in Chronicles of Crime, I really like where it's pointing to. Uh, the you know, I can only really talk about potential in a Kickstarter video, but it does a great job of setting a completely different scene. You know, we're used to the modern police, modern London setting of uh, the original Chronicles of Crime. It does a great job at kind of placing you in here with those little touches, like I mentioned, like you have to go to places for your advisors and stuff. And just like when we had played the very first case of the original game for the Kickstarter, you know, I, I want to know what happens. You know, I'm invested now. I am engaged. I want to know what happens with this story, let alone the 1900 and the 2400s. You know, we've seen Chronicles of Crime knit together a story over multiple missions in a, you know, in the base game box, for example. Uh, but now it's kind of, it's it's more ambitious that as well as doing that, it's uh, it's got Easter eggs and an ongoing story throughout three very different sounding, uh, well, certainly different sounding settings, but also with their own little twists and mechanics added in as well. So... Yeah, I can't wait to keep going, but uh, as you might have seen from my original uh, Chronicles of Crime video, we we were really excited the first time that uh, we saw this in Essen way back when. So yeah, this is Chronicles of Crime, the Millennium series. This particular one is the 1400s, along with 1900 and 2400. They're on Kickstarter now. The link is in the description to go over to the campaign page and see everything that is going on there. As I mentioned, I do have a video for the original Chronicles of Crime game. If you would like to see the thing in action and have it only spoiling, you know, a, a sample tutorial uh, scenario, I'll link that in the description as well. And hopefully we'll have videos at some point in the near future for the small expansions to the original Chronicles of Crime, which are Noir and Welcome to Redview also adding different mechanics and settings as well but but they're smaller expansions that require the main game these are bigger self-contained experiences thank you very much for watching and i'll see you for the next game bye everyone <laughs>